This is Mir Pearson, and uh, we really is the That's correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, in your at BA1, your, your Twitter handle. Um, wow, thank you. And, uh, you know, uh, we really appreciate it. I, I, can you speak a little bit about what it took to organize all this? Well, first of all, we're very thrilled to have all these bloggers here. Um, it was it was a great effort, but we're very excited about how it turned out. Um, obviously, there's over 300 wine bloggers here in Virginia. We're getting lots of feedback. Um, we had a few really great events. We had Monticello last night. We did wine tours today, and then we had the dinner at the Omni tonight. And I think all of them really showcased, showcased Virginia wine. Um, in a great way. Got to try lots of different ones and um, see what Virginia wine is all about. Well, I've seen the Twitter board that's really lighting up uh, all about Virginia wine and I'm trying to watch it, but it's uh, it moved by so fast because you guys have done such an amazing job with everything here. Uh, and we definitely thank you for the, the Monticello uh, setup. Um, tell us a little bit about um, I guess how you feel about the whole, uh, and we're coming to a close here soon, and uh, what's the feedback that you're getting, not just from the bloggers that have been uh, you know, so enjoying your hospitality, but uh, the other people that are uh, working with the CDF uh, in the library? Well, we, uh, we've been watching the Twitter feed and seeing what everyone has to say about it, and it's really great to see all the feedback. Um, people who have never been to Virginia, people who may have not even realized Virginia has all these great wineries, are realizing we have almost 200 wineries in the state. There are a lot of the small, family-owned wineries. Um, today on the tours, they were able to realize that you go to a winery and you meet the wine maker there. You get to taste the barrel samples, and it's a very hands-on experience. Um, because of the way that Virginia works. It's, that's the way that it is. And we are thrilled to have this and be able to show this to the to the wine bloggers um, all across the country. And it's been great. And we've got some great bloggers in the state, uh, just like uh, Jason White, who's like one of the things probably just get on payroll. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> uh, and so, I guess, it, Frank, uh, you're from here and uh, I mean, you're familiar with all this stuff, but uh, was there anything that was really kind of stand out that uh, really, the way it was presented, just almost it, it gave you some on? It did. I, I was introduced to a couple of new wineries that I had not visited or wine had not tried uh, today to the winery board. So that was Pippin Hill, which is a brand new winery here in Virginia, open. We visited them today. Um, and just seeing how the state of Virginia um, rolls out the red carpet, like you said, and also displays that southern hospitality um, and welcoming the block. And, you know, I experienced that as a resident here, but it's great to see that, how it is rolled out to people uh, from out of state. Um, the bloggers coming in and how our industry has embraced bloggers in particular because we do have a very strong blogger contingent I can hear from Total Soap Snark to Virginia Wine Time to Virginia Wine TV um, to Stellar Blog with Virginia Wine in My Pocket uh, Wine App we have a very very strong blogger contingent and so the state I think really stepped up the wineries the wine board the governor who are familiar with all of us they really want on the red carpet to the bloggers specifically uh, yeah I, I, I would definitely agree with that uh, so I just want to ask uh, kind of takeaways for WC30 DC11, and there was a uh, there was a gauntlet thrown down by uh, I mean, the governor or somebody who said uh, come back by 2013. Right. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I got into smiling about it. But, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. If, uh, but yeah. Um, so what are your thoughts on the DC11 ways, and uh, what do you want to see? What would you like to see in the future? One thing I'd like to see is maybe uh, host it at a different time. Uh, you know, the, the end of July is, is maybe not a good time because of the heat. But seriously, um, I think one is to um, just uh, maybe host it in one of our other regions, um, our Loudoun County region, which is the wine country. It's really great to do, um, perhaps a little bit north of here, um, to experience one, just to make it easier, perhaps to get some DC from the Dulles Airport, from the Reagan Airport, from BWI, um, the DC wine country, a different part of Virginia, a, a different uh, part of Virginia hospitality. Um, my big takeaway from it is um, blogging is still very, very, very relevant and it's only growing. Excellent. And uh, so, Mary Catherine, uh, where can people find uh, more about uh, Virginia Wine? Follow us on at Virginia Wine, um, virginiawine.org. We have October Virginia Wine Month coming up, so we have lots of exciting new programs and events, and it's just going to continue to grow. We have more wineries opening and lots more events. Yeah, Frank Morgan, where people find more information about you? 
drinkwhatyoulike.com. Thank you. Thank you.